Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about the Noctua NF S12A case fans. These are very, very quiet. They come in three flavors. The ULN, or Ultra Low Noise, operates at 800 RPM or 600 RPM. The FLX operates at 1200 RPM, 900 RPM, and 700 RPM. And the PWM fan, which operates at 1200 RPM and 900 RPM, which is also four pins. So we're going to be checking out the ULN version. So it comes in a nice fancy box with many accessories. It comes with these awesome anti-vibration uh, rubber mounts. You have a Molex to 3-pin power connector. An extension-y cable to uh, get to where it needs to go. A low-noise power adapter, which is... There's basically a resistor in there, which brings down the RPM. And you got your typical case mounting screws. And now we're onto the fan itself. All three of these fans are physically the same. The difference is their RPM. And the FLX and ULN are three pin, and the PWM is four pin. Make sure your motherboard supports whatever it supports. They feature a stepped inlet design and inner surface microstructures to reduce tonal and blade passing noise to essentially make them quiet. And the anti-stall knobs on the actual fans reduce flow separation, which I would assume makes them perform better and quieter. And if you want to go the PWM route, it's basically the same. Make sure your motherboard fan headers and your motherboard supports PWM fans. Remember that the PWM fan is 4-pin. If you're not sure which one to get, I would suggest getting the Flex version because it comes with two low-noise adapters so you can fine-tune and figure out which works well for you. One low-noise adapter at 900 RPM and one ultra-low-noise adapter that runs at 700 RPM. Installation is pretty easy. We're going to be installing this as an exhaust fan. We're going to need a screwdriver. And we'll just unscrew the back here. And then we'll unplug the fan from the fan header. And we'll remember where that is. Notice that that is a three pin. So installing a fan is pretty simple. You want to make sure that the air is being exhausted. And you want to make doubly sure which direction the fan is blowing air. There are arrows on the side that tell you, but a really quick way to go about it is that the air gets pushed out on the frame or logo side. So we'll place it in there, get it all nice and neat. We're gonna be using the rubber mounts, which can be a little tricky. So we'll double check which holes we need to put the mounts through. And they pretty much just pop through. I tend to pull them through with a pair of needle nose pliers. Makes it quite easy. And then we'll just plug this bad boy into our fan header. If that's still a little too loud for you, you can connect the low noise adapter and uh, plug it back in and that uh, will lower the RPM. And after that, you're good to go. And now we have a little bit of a more quieter PC. A loud fan can actually cause ear fatigue or even damage in some instances. Uh, some can have like a high-pitched whine and uh, yeah, not good. I went ahead and installed the S12s in my workstation to keep my VRM cool and to generally keep the air flowing. Uh, I have them set at uh, the low RPM and uh, yeah, they do a great job and they're pretty quiet. I can barely hear them. An amazing amount of research and development goes into making these fans. They're a bit pricey, but you get a six-year warranty with them, and uh, yeah, their performance is just... I can't say anything bad about them. Um, compared to, like, stock case fans, stock cooler fans, uh, these are the real deal. Hope you enjoyed the review. Noctua was nice enough to send me a couple fans to review, and I think a quiet studio PC is very important. Uh, for many reasons. Um, if you want to see more, let me know. And if you liked it, give it a like. And uh, yeah, take care.